this will just give you a quick clip of all the potted plants you can see with good feedings and waterings their growth has become explosive look at this fig tree just blowing up and the turmeric turmeric and we give you a shot of those beautiful flowers look at that See all sorts of new growth on the mandarin. <laughs> Blowing up. August 2nd, 2020. Budisha sweet corn is up. Buckwheat is up. I hit this with an inoculant like uh, four or five nights ago. And it literally, like in 24 to 48 hours, you could see uh, all of these leaves just go dark green. Amazing what those nitrogen fixing uh, bacteria can do. Uh, but I was out here uh, having a look at the corn block. Things are growing really fast, really fast right now. And. Uh, I did a foliar slash drench slash inoculant, basically a full spectrum foliar feed last night, including biology, enzymes, biostimulants, all sorts of different uh, nutritional profiles. Uh, shot everything. All corn blocks and the new uh, buckwheat cover crop there and that one also. Um, and the plants are responding really well. And then uh, early this morning, we got about 0.3 inches of rain, which was perfect timing on top of the foliar feed. And I happened to be out here walking by and I heard this little buzzing sound. The honeybees are all through this first planting of corn, merrily collecting pollen. So right away after the foliar feed, the bricks levels of the plants climb and uh, the quality of the pollen and nectar the plants produce climbs dramatically. Uh, this is sweet corn, so as far as I understand, honeybees aren't collecting any nectar from this, but you can see on their pollen sacks that they definitely are collecting a good bit of pollen. Um, so they must consider it to be a valuable resource. So uh, I was excited to see them in a crop that they're typically not known for using much of. Uh, anyway, I just thought I would uh, do a quick shot of that and of how fast this is growing. I mean, I think this block grew since yesterday, probably three inches in height, both the buckwheat and the corn. And uh, these squash are blowing up as well, getting that dark green and starting to throw out some large leaves. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, share a quick update and uh, a shot of the honeybees. I guess while we're here quick, I'll uh, just give you a clip of these. Three strips of buckwheat, two strips of rye. Hard to tell if the rye is germinating. I don't have much experience with rye yet. I think that that might be uh, some of the rye germinating in here. Some of these little shoots like that. But I could be wrong. <coughs> and uh, let's see if we have any sunflowers popping yet. 
Thought I saw sunflowers in here last night. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. Sunflowers are starting to pop up in here. So, yeah, nice. So that's exciting. And uh, last night before the rain, <coughs> I came out and seeded uh, this block here, 25 by 60, another 1,500 square feet, uh, also with buckwheat uh, for another honey crop bumper, soil builder, cover crop, etc. And uh, I plan to plant this into rye also. Uh, thinking about when this flowers out and honeybees are done with it, seeding rye down through it and then just rolling it with a roller and let the let the buckwheat mulch basically be sort of a cover to press the rye in place so the rye can germinate. I think that'll work well and it'll be no-till which is nice. Less soil disturbance is always preferred. Uh, anyway, we'll try it and we'll see how it does. Uh, for now I gotta stay on this with irrigation. I just seeded this on top. Um, I may irrigate this again tonight or tomorrow and get it good and wet and then come back with the thatch rake and run the thatch rake down on low just to disturb some of this mulch and hopefully blend uh, the seeds together a little better or blend the seeds with the top surface of the soil for good germination. Um, but I may not need to do that uh, and I'm undecided as of yet. But I just thought I would do a quick update and uh, I think I'm done babbling for now. Hope you found this interesting or informative. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.